Auntie, 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 I don't want to be in there. No, Hence, no. I'm saying I don't want to be a okay. part of it. I don't go after men, honey. Men come to me. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Still, your favorite narrator, Lillian. You're welcome to my channel, Full Cup with Lillian. So guys, tonight was the night. This is more than a triangle. It's more than a ship. It's more than a pentagon. Like at this moment, it shook. Like this is literally what we subscribe for. Although I'm seeing a lot of people say, must they fall in love? Must they be in a relationship? Guys, come on. You know these things. There is no way adults should be in a house, in an enclosed house, and we don't expect sheep to begin to sell. Anyways, let me not bore you with long story. Let's dive in into the main story. So it all started from the pool party where Yemi Craigs and Kosi were having a lovely time. And before you know it, Yemi, hmm, the Yoruba demon in Yemi started dancing with blue ivor good my love she says because she's gone for once <laughs> like yemi was just having the best time of his polygamous life like he was literally enjoying both ladies he even shared a kiss with the both of them but then kosi was not having it and kosi decided to confront him and ask him what's going on what's happening i'm not comfortable with the way you're running things with this other person but then trust baba trust baba to change the narrative he said no <laughs> that it's not even about him that blue ivor keeps coming to him Roche. meanwhile while he was making this explanation to kosi the both of them were in the restroom and he was still looking around to be very sure that blue ivor is not close trust me he was definitely looking around to be sure this babe was not hearing what he was saying kosi believing what yemi told her decided to take the bull by the horn and she confronted blue ivor herself and Blue Ivor literally told her, I don't want to have this discussion with you because I don't want to be in this circle. I don't want to be in this triangle. You're trying to put me in. Don't make me a part of your problem. I'm not the one to go into this guy. In fact, in the words of Blue Ivor, she said she does not go to men. The men come for her. Like, come on. <laughs> well, I was like, is this the way love is shocking, Kosi? That you will not be the one to go and approach your fellow girl? Like, what's happening? Has it gotten to that extent? To just stray away home training and go and confront somebody over who? Mm? <laughs> Anyways, love now your mates. But then I love how Blue Ivor replied her. I don't go after men, honey. Men come to me. <laughs> Yemi, on hearing the voices of both ladies, decided to go and meet Kosi to find out what she told Blue Ivor. But then Kosi was trying to cover up, but later on went ahead to ask Yemi what kind of shitty game is he playing between the both of them. What is his intention? What is he trying to achieve by playing both of them? That she's aware there is a shitty game going on. But trust Yemi. Instead of Yemi to concentrate on this, he decided to shift the blame, <laughs> the whole blame towards Miracle and on how Miracle is trying to distract them. Meanwhile, while all this is going on, Miracle was already feeling embarrassed and Miracle was seen explaining to Yvonne um, and the other of those gossip ladies on how Kosi is already giving her green light but disgracing him now. Anyway, yeah. Push P somewhere else, but I'm pushing P with you. You should respect that. Um, while Miracle was explaining to Yvonne and Olivia 
that he's being disrespected by Kosi because they are already pushing something. <laughs> Yvonne and Olivia try to find out if he's just playing the game and he said no for him. It's not a game. They're already pushing, you know, towards having something and Kosi giving him green light. Meanwhile, he decided to approach Kosi by himself to ask her, babe, what do you really want for yourself? <laughs> Meanwhile, why Miracle was discussing with um, Kosi about picking a stand, Yemi on his own part decided to have a discussion with his um, task partner. And then Yelisa informed Yemi about Miracle and Kosi. I don't know. I don't. Conversations. I mean, but then again, I've never heard seen him on stage talking about a love story. So Yelisa decided to clear Yemi that the whole Kosi thing is not just about the task. That didn't you hear him talking about their love story, fighting for their love? And Yemi said, yeah although he was just taking that on a task level but then Yelisa decided to clear him that they already have something going on that miracle is already pushing something with Kosi meanwhile Kosi on the other hand is telling miracle why are you you know pushing hard now isn't blue Ivor your first choice and miracle even admitted that blue Ivor was who he genuinely suffers but then didn't go ahead to push to have something with her <laughs> it's raining pentagon at this stage this is no longer a triangle are you seeing how it's connecting this person wants this person this person doesn't want this person this person wants another person he was very passionate about that one huh? i saw the shit and i saw you and it okay man did i say no Meanwhile, Kosi, after having this discussion with Miracle, decided to go inside to arrange her clothes and Miracle being with her. At this stage, I think what um, Yelisa and Jenny O was explaining to Yemi was already getting to his head and he couldn't take it any longer and he decided to approach Miracle to confront him on why he had to interrupt his discussion with Kosi by saying, oh, I need to talk to my partner and then going ahead to have a, a long conversation and even going inside the room. It was actually a heated one because, you know, the way he walked into this room, I was even saying, they could no fight to strike, strike. <laughs> and why this was going on, you know, Kosi was feeling like that African princess that you guys are about to fight for. And she was just saying, calm down, no, stop it. It's disrespect, my bro. It's disrespect. You can't be doing that shit now, bro. After Yemi walked out and went to the loo, Kosi decided to follow up with him, talking to him, saying, you're not supposed to have this discussion with Miracle. You're supposed to be talking to me and not Miracle. You don't have a problem with Miracle. But then Yemi said, no. You are accusing me of another person disturbing our sheep. And here you are doing the same thing you are accusing me of. <laughs> this night share, this night share. And they went on and on with the banter. And after which Miracle walked into the loo and decided to apologize to Yemi. But then listen to the trick. So after Miracle apologized, Miracle now went ahead to ask Yemi, do you have a thing with Kosi? Did you get the psychology? <laughs> Who in that house doesn't know Yemi has paid with um, Kosi? But do you care what Miracle is doing? <laughs> so while Yemi was actually shocked regarding that question, Miracle now went ahead to say, I don't think so. I don't think if it is the same with her because she's telling me something else. And when Yemi now persuaded to know what Kosi is telling Miracle, Miracle said, no, it's between me and Kosi. It's not something I'll tell you, but I think she's saying otherwise. 
Do you see how this guy just psychologically threw Yemi off balance? Because number one, who doesn't know Yemi and Kosi has a thing? Number two, what else is Kosi telling Miracle if not that they are trying to, you know, work things out and all that? <laughs> if you ask me, this Miracle is in this house for just to scatter, scatter things. Like he's, he just wants to play this, um, what's his name? what was this guy's name again he just wants to play bright so if you can remember bright so scared he just wants to play that game meanwhile yemi rushed to hear what kosi told miracle and kosi went ahead to you know explain that all she said was just oh we had an issue which we are trying to resolve and work things out <laughs> and Yemi said, you know what? I'm picking my stuff. I'm picking my stuff that is in your corner. And while at it, um, Kanaga, uh, Tati, and Yelisa, Yelisa on her own part said she was just worried because Yemi being her partner in the game, anything that would affect Yemi might just affect her. So she was looking out for her game partner. Meanwhile, Kosi started narrating to Kanaga and Kanaga said, you know what? You have to take easy. Just know the main, the major reason why you are in the house and just stick to it. And relationship, forget about it. <laughs> you Meanwhile, when Kanaga was advising her, what I was saying in my mind is, what if this is even her game plan? <laughs> Yeah. what if this is her game plan or you think someone cannot come into your house and use sheep as a strategy like sheep as a strategy actually worked for so many people in the past so if anybody is trying to come in here and play you know all that it can still be a strategy but anyways we are here for how it should all play out meanwhile when um Kayode showed us yemi and kosi again yemi was giving kosi a good night peck happy good night kiss <laughs> my dear tonight was indeed the night <laughs> Meanwhile, JP and Yelisa was outside gossiping all the while about Yemi, Miracle and Kosi, the whole triangle thing and then Blue Ivy being in the picture and the both of them said they were surprised on how Kosi was ready to, you know, say that she's ready to fight anyone that will come between. <laughs> Meanwhile, away from the whole Yemi, Blue Iva, Miracle, and Kosi, what do you people think about Loki and the Peleng? There's no being this house, though, and the Peleng will just carry Bele like that because these two are behaving like couples already. And who could have thought, like, this is the ship we never saw coming? In my eyes, though, this is Peleng in a fine girl, like. I'm just thinking, what did she see in Luke? Hey, voila. This is the shape no one saw coming at all. Like, no one saw this happening. <laughs> Anyways, she has her peace of mind. At least nobody will be dragging Luke with her. <laughs> anyways if you've watched this very moment you're the real mvp thank you for watching and don't forget to tell me your honest opinion about tonight's event and i will see you in my next video don't forget to watch my next video as i'll be bringing you more juicy gist about juicy j jdo and the whole yuvon triangle i'll see you in my next video if you haven't subscribed please do also subscribe and if you have subscribed turn on your post notification bell so that you will know when the next video drops and don't forget to give this particular video a thumbs up please go ahead and like this my video have a nice day bye